Welcome to Major League Wiffle Ball Game of the Week, week number two. Today we have the 0-3 Vipers at the 2-1 Bombers. Starting it off in the top of the first inning is going to be Shea. First at bat of the game, he's going to hit a ball down the left field line, and it'll stay just fair, and he'll be in there with a leadoff double. So, Shea in good position early with a runner on second, no outs. The next batter will hit one weakly to Ryan, but it, it will take a weird hop off the grass, and it will shoot past Ryan. So now Shea's in business with runners in first and third with no outs. Good chance to get a run here. He's going to hit a ball towards first base. Ryan's going to go over and make the play. And Nick with a nice stretch to get the out, but the run is in. So now runner on second, one out. Shea has a one to nothing lead. Shea's going to hit a ball into right field pretty far. And it's going to get into the bush for a ground rule double. So Shea still has runner on second, one out. But the lead is now two to zero. So a good start for Shea so far. In his next at bat, he'll ground one weakly to Ryan. Ryan will make the easy play. So now there's a runner on third with two outs. Shea will need a hit to score him. And he will hit it right at Ryan, but Ryan cannot make the play, and Shea is safe. So the run is in, and Shea has a 3-0 to zero lead now, all in the first inning. Next batter hits the ball towards third base. Ryan makes a nice play, throws across his body, and Nick picks it at first for an out. That's definitely a top play nominee to end the inning. So now Nick's down three runs in the bottom of the first. His first at bat of the game, he's going to get hit hit by that pitch. So now there's a runner on first with no outs. Owens blown out. And that right there was Nick calling a shot. And sure enough, next pitch, he hits one deep just over Ryan's hand, and it's gone. So after Nick calls the shot, he hits a two-run home run to put him down one. So now the Vipers are still up 3-2. to two. The next batter for Nick is going to hit a deep fly ball to Ryan, but Ryan will make the catch of the warning track for the first out of the inning. One out, base is empty now. Nick is going to hit a ball deep, and Ryan makes the jumping catch. Ryan leaps up and robs a home run from Nick. Another top play nominee from Ryan. That's two top play nominees already in the first inning. So Ryan's doing very good work defensively. And the next batter, with two outs, base is empty, will pop up to center field, and the inning is over. Nick gets two, but it's still down one at the end of one. Now on the top of the second, the first batter for the Vipers will hit one in right field, and Ryan won't be able to make the catch, and Shea will be in there with another ground rule double. Already Shea's third double of the game. Runner on second, no outs now for Shea. He's going to hit a ball over Ryan, pretty weak. Ryan's going to make the easy play. Runner on third, one down now. The next batter is going to get hit. So now there's first and third with one out. Another good chance for Shea to get some runs. He's going to hit that ball right at Ryan, but Ryan's going to oh, slip and yeah. fall, and Shea will be in there with a single. So to go along with his two top play nominees, there's a not top play nominee for Ryan. So we have first and second, one out, one or uh, four to two, and Shea's going to pop out weakly there. So now it's first and second, two out. The Vipers with a four to two lead. And Shea's going to hit a ball deep into left field, but Ryan will be, able to, will be able to go over and make the catch to end the inning. So, halfway through two, Vipers are up 4-2 to two on the Bombers. Nick needs to get some runs soon, but the first batter of the inning will pop up to shallow center field. Now with one out and the base is empty, Nick is going to hit a ball deep into right field, but it will hit off the house and Ryan will make the catch for the second out of the inning. So two down, base is empty. Nick's going to pop another one up. And they can't make the catch, but Ryan picks it up and steps on first. So Shea has a three up, three down inning there. And uh, he looks like he's going to control this game with a four to two lead going into the top of the third. Lead off batter for Shea is going to hit a ball off the stairs. And Ryan will make the easy play at first for the first out of the inning. Uh, the next batter of the inning will get walked by Nick, so now there's a runner on first with just one out. Now the next batter, Shea, is going to hit a weak dribbler. Ryan's going to barely get him at first. Nice play there by Ryan. So now there's a runner on second with two out. Shea's going to hit one deep. Ryan can't make a catch. It's off, its hand. it's off his hand. And Shea's going to be into second. And that will score the run. Shea now has a 5-2 lead with a runner on second. And the next batter will hit one deep. And gone! Shea takes a 7-2 lead on his first home run of the year. So now Shea is up five runs on Nick. However, the next batter will hit one pretty soft to Ryan, and Ryan will make the easy play. So now going into the bottom of the third, Nick needs five runs to tie it. What first batter of the inning is going to pop one up very weak. 
but Shea can't make the play on it. It looks like a very easy catch for Shea, but he touches it in foul, foul territory and drops it. Nick makes it all the way to third on that error. And then Shea will walk the next batter of the inning. So this is not what Shea wants. Shea gets, Shea gives up the first two runners on base. The next batter is going to hit one to Ryan in right field. And they had him out, but Shea drops the ball again. So now Nick's only down 7-3, to three, and there's two runners on base. And it looks like they have a chance for another play there, but Shea drops another one. So three errors in the inning for Shea have loaded the bases for Nick, and a grand slam now ties the game. Yes! And then the next batter is going to be walked by Shea. So Shea walks in a run. Nick is only down 7-4 to four now. But the next batter is going to hit one to the warning track, but Ryan is not able to make the catch. So now second and third, two outs. They're going to intentionally walk the bases, and the next batter is going to hit one deep off the house and gone. So Nick hits a walk-off grand slam there to take a 10-7 lead. Shea had a five-run lead going into that inning. He's up eight runs on three errors. Nick gets a walk-off grand slam and improves to 3-1. and one. Shea blows the five-run lead in that incredible game. It was a really fun game, really exciting game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys check us out at leaguelineup.com slash xxmlwbxx for more.